In this demonstration, we'll be taking a look at how ZBrush's DynaMesh feature can be used as a way to explore ideas. Using ZBrush as a sketchbook, you'll see how much freedom DynaMesh gives you. The demo shows you how a simple sphere can be sculpted into an elaborate design even if you don't have a specific reference in mind. This session began by loading the two-tone beetle project from Lightbox and ZBrush. The project contains a sphere with DynaMesh already activated in the geometry subpalette of the tool palette, and a custom material is applied to the surface as well. As the surface is pulled with the move brush, the stretched surface is retopologized instantly each time you control and drag on a blank part of the canvas. The action is so seamless it becomes a natural part of the sculpting process. DynaMesh retains the sculpted detail of the surface with each update. The result is the feeling of sculpting on a natural surface. The time-lapse video of the recording session uses a custom interface color scheme. You can select different color and interface presets using the buttons in the upper right of the ZBrush interface. So you can see here the clay buildup brush is used to cut into the surface. The brush is set up to paint and sculpt at the same time, so you can see how well DynaMesh retains the poly painting each time the surface is updated. Just as with sculpting, the result is a seamless, continuous workflow. The two-tone beetle material is set up with two shaders. As light colors are painted onto the surface when the brush digs in, the material reveals a diffuse shader. As dark colors are painted onto the surface as it builds the surface up, a shiny shader is revealed. The blending of the colors causes the two shaders to appear blended as well. DynaMesh makes it very easy to constantly revise the shape of the surface. Using the slice brush, the bottom of the surface is separated from the top in a nice clean cut. The slice brush uses a line that can be drawn in front of the surface. This line splits the surface into two poly groups. Now when the group button is enabled in the DynaMesh options, the surface is remeshed as two separate volumes. The tail is now moved up to the top of the surface to replace the head. When the group button is disabled in the DynaMesh options, the two volumes are fused back into a single surface when DynaMeshed. Now you can see how more ideas can be explored with this new revised silhouette of the figure. The nudge brush is used at this point to pull out spiraling shapes. To create this particular effect, the nudge brush has been customized slightly. With the nudge brush set as the current brush, the depth setting is switched from continuous Z depth to once Z depth in the picker palette, meaning that the direction of the nudge effect is set to be based on the Z depth of the initial point of contact on the surface. This makes it easy to pull out and twist spiraling elements straight from the surface since the brush is no longer trying to follow the curvature of the surface. Whenever the surface starts to look stretch, just control drag on the canvas to re dynamesh through DynaMesh, the surface updates and replaces the appearance of stretched polygons with a smooth surface. And note that the transition between colors and materials is also nice and smooth. So the surface and the colors can now be twisted and blended to make a very visually compelling design. At this point, we can see how the design looks with a hole cut through this part of the tail. We can use a cylinder to cut through the mesh. Using the insert cylinder brush while holding the alt key, a cylinder is drawn so that it intersects the surface. When the surface is re dynameshed again, the cylinder leaves a hole, but note that it also transfers the light color of the cylinder to the interior wall of the intersection. This light color causes the material to reveal the diffuse shader and you get the interesting effect shown here. Now the insert sphere brush is used to place spheres into the tail. The new curved surface brush is used to draw in curves from the surface. A mesh is lofted between each curve. This is used to add wings to the surface. Check out the Z Classroom movie on using curve brushes for more detailed information. Now when the surface is re-dynameshed, the wings are fused to the body, and at this point the nudge brush can be used to add some more organic swirling detail. DynaMesh can use any type of mesh as a cutting tool, not just primitives such as the cylinder. In this case, a duplicate of the design is used to cut a hole in the wing that matches the silhouette of the overall figure. 
To create this effect, the surface is duplicated. To accomplish this, switch to move mode, hold the control key, and drag on the center dot away from the mesh. A duplicate is created instantly while the original mesh is automatically masked. Note that these are not separate subtools, this is all one mesh item, but because the original sculpt has been masked automatically, the copy can be moved around as a separate piece. Now if you want to use the duplicate as a cutting tool, you have to hold the Alt key and the Control key together and drag on the transpose handle. ZBrush understands that because you're holding the Alt key and the Control key at the same time, that you want to create a duplicate and then that duplicate will be used to cut as opposed to add when the surface is updated with Dynamesh. Now Control drag on the canvas and you'll see that when the surface is re-Dynameshed, a hole in the shape of the duplicate is left. At this point, additional orange colored spheres are added using the insert sphere brush. And now colors are painted onto the model and you can see how easy it is to create interesting painted designs by taking advantage of some of the new brush features. For example, by activating RGB for the curve brush, you can paint repeating patterns and control them using the curve. For more detail on how to use these features, check out the movie on Z Classroom. Now the tri-fill brush is used to create extensions and then these are duplicated and positioned to fill out the design. These are then shaped with a nudge brush. The brush curve is also used to add slender tentacle-like shapes. To create a tapering effect in the tubes, you can activate the size option in the stroke palette. To create a repeating pattern of the tubes, you can press the 5 hotkey to create a 3D snapshot. Then move the curve, then press 5 again to create another snapshot, and continue until you have a nice pattern. The real strength of Dynamesh is that you can constantly revise your design making decisions at every stage. Even at this point, if you decide you want a completely different head for the character, it can be changed easily. Dynamesh ensures that the surface maintains a consistent resolution. When Dynamesh updates the surface, any tangled or overlapping polygons are replaced with a smooth, consistent topology that still retains the same detail. Dynamesh is not concerned with the flow of the polygons, only the volume of the surface. So you can use the slice brush to cut off a piece without having to worry about reworking the details of the surface. You can even remove a large piece of the surface, move it out of the way, hide it, make it into a separate subtool using group split, or even delete it permanently. The slice curve brush is used here to cut off just the head. The old head and a few other parts are moved out of the way, and then using the insert head brush, a new head is drawn onto the body. The surface is dynameshed again, and the head is now fused with the body so that it can be sculpted and painted as one continuous mesh. The insert cylinder brush is used again while holding the Alt key to create a hole through the head. The hole appears when the surface is re-dynameshed, but notice that since the main and alternate colors have been switched, this time the inside of the surface of the hole is dark and shiny. Now the original head is moved back down, creating an interesting headpiece. You can see how in a very short time an elaborate design can be developed based on inspiration alone. Dynamesh brings the freedom of experimentation and improvisation to the art of digital sculpting. Of course, this design can be continued and taken even further if you wanted, or you could even create limitless variations of the original design.